Today we are having a look at a location that was heavily altered in the final version of Half-Life 2 Episode 2 and a puzzle including a vehicle that was completely removed from the game. We got to know this stage of the development in the recent leaks, so this is fairly new content. Let us first have a look at how this area looks today in the finished game to be able to compare it better to the old development version. The protagonists are driving along a railroad track attempting to flee from a combine helicopter, hunting them because they tried to kill an advisor. They involuntarily lead the chopper to a rebel base and there they finally engage and destroy it. You, as Gordon Freeman, need to throw back bombs dropped by the helicopter before they explode. Once the helicopter is destroyed, the rebels inform you that the road ahead is blocked by a combine gun emplacement. It is your task to take it out, by sneaking up around it across a junkyard and then throw a grenade into the gun's power supply. In the meantime, Alex and the rebels repair the car you crashed into the base's gate while fleeing from the combine chopper. A short time later you are good to go and back on the road to White Forest, an old Soviet ICBM complex purchased by Black Mesa in the 90s to avoid government oversight in the USA. During the development of Half-Life 2 Episode 2, this chapter looked a little bit different. The railroad track to the rebel base was almost identical, though of course not as polished as in the final game. In this version the chopper is taken out by a rebel with an RPG. The rebel then proceeds to open the gate for you and you make your way into the old dispatcher building to talk to the checkpoint's commander. The short conversation with the commander revolves around your search for a working radio. He points you to an old communications tower seen in the distance, but the road leading to it is blocked. Like in the final game, you have to clear the road. But unlike in the final game, you don't need to take out a gun, you need to take out zombies in a train yard, clamp over abandoned wagons, turn on the electricity, move back a railcar, switch to the tracks and then drive the railcar through a fence blocking the street to the radio tower. Afterwards you make your way back to the car and then drive off with Alex. Interesting side note, unlike in reality the trains seem to be getting their power via the tracks and not via the catenary system above the tracks. This leads to zombies touching the electrified tracks to being incinerated. Quite interesting to see and quite fun to lead them there. <laughs> Personally I think it's a fun level, moving around the trains is kind of cool and a little flashback to the first Half-Life, but on the other hand the train yard looks a little out of place in the environment surrounding it. So what do you think of this beta map? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Special thanks goes to HL2 Beta Project, formerly known as Vitoy, for fixing up the chopper and providing the map for everyone to download. A link to his work is of course in the description down below. If you want to go ahead and download the map, say hello to him from me. He's doing some amazing work over there. And while I'm at it, a shout out to XJR9000. He, like Vitoy, is working on fixing up the leaked maps. Great stuff, keep it up. So see you guys next time. Till then, have a nice day and as always, goodbye and guten Tag. <laughs>